Hey guys, so just before I get into this video, I have to let you guys know that I've been trying to get this video out for well over a week now. It just hasn't been working out. Uh, every time I recorded something, the footage either wouldn't work, it was super laggy, um, or it, yeah, it, it lagged a lot. Uh, it turns out um, it was just because I needed to clean out the radiator in my uh, computer, so... Yeah, that's all cleaned out now, and now everything's recording great, everything's encoding great. So let's just get into this video about me talking about ants for um, whatever reason, because that's what people are interested in, right? Right, alright. Hey guys, this is uh, Flare Glare, also known as Flare Snare. As very few of you know, I am an ant keeper. I've been collecting, colonizing, raising different ant species since I was seven years old, putting them in pharmacariums, starting colonies from a single queen, you name it, anything in myrmecology, I've done it. I recently had a light DMT experience, it was probably about as powerful as three or four grams of mushrooms. And I decided to look at my ants while I was on it, and when I did so, it was like I could understand ants perfectly. How they live, and what they experience throughout their life. I've had this one thought for quite a while now, but this DMT experience completely solidified it. What is a single ant to you? Well, to most people, a single ant probably means, well, nothing to them. It's just an insect on the ground. Not many people really care about them. Uh, a single ant to me is, well, not very significant either. Um, it, doesn't really matter, it's insignificant. But I absolutely love ants. I am housing two colonies as we speak. They are uh, just growing and growing, getting, getting bigger in size every time I feed them. An ant itself isn't very significant. They are completely useless without their colony. If an ant strays from its colony and loses its pheromone trail, it automatically becomes useless in can't do anything for the environment, can't care for itself, it simply has nothing to do but die. It will die much sooner than it would with its colony. Um, a single worker ant serves no real purpose on its own because every little thing it does is for the good of the colony. No colony, it loses hope of doing anything. Now picture a worker ant as a single cell and the colony as a single organism. Suddenly things start to make a lot of sense. A single worker ant serves no more of a purpose than a single cell in your body does. Uh, communicates with chemicals, distributes food evenly throughout the whole organism. Different ants serve different roles in the, in the single celled organism. Diggers, nurseries, defense, raw cutting power, things like that are uh, some of the big jobs that some of these worker ants have. Just like the many cells in your body serving different purposes, but all with the exact same DNA. Now, well, what is consciousness? Well, nobody really knows what it truly is, but we can still describe it in many ways. Um, organisms that have actual awareness, I would say, definitely have a consciousness. A single ant hasn't really shown any proof of an absolute awareness. Even when the colony is having a battle with a predator, they only fight together. When a whole colony is on a task, whether it be defending against a predator, collecting food, preparing for nuptial flight, that's when you can see true awareness. All of the ants communicate with chemical signals like our minds and bodies, and they form a group consciousness and awareness. Different colonies themselves, even of the same species, all have different chemicals that they use to communicate. That's how they know if one ant is from their colony or if another ant from a different colony of the same species strays into theirs. They will know and it will die. They form a group intelligence and work together in a collective mass. They only work together and that's it. Single ants can do simple tasks by themselves because they are more of an automatic instinct. Um, but the colony as a whole isn't an automatic instinct or an automatic process. 
it is a form of systems and structure that allow them to make a collective decision. My conclusion from gazing at my ants is that to truly understand them, you need to think of them as a single organism, a single consciousness, a single entity. That's how they function, and that's what they are.